live from Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Beckham Report. I do. So I'm up doing some quick work before I head off to class because straight from class I have to go to the event. I have to get myself ready. I should probably stop talking to my camera and get ready. find weird places to position my camera. I just got out of class like early because I'm trying to head over before 12 because it's a little bit far away. I have to take the train, but I have to get my stuff together. I'm so stressed out. Like I'm so nervous. Uh, we're out of focus. I've never been so nervous for anything in my entire life. Like I am freaking out. Not only is, am I seeing Carrie, like this is like my first like press conference as like a professional. So that makes me really nervous. This whole thing just makes me really nervous. Oh, it's a lovely sound of the boss. Tea. I just missed my train and I'm really mad about it. I have to take two trains to get there. Hopefully the train comes soon because like this is exactly what happened when I went to see Tony. I don't need this kind of luck again. So I've arrived on Harvard's campus. I'm going to pick up my pass right now and see what's going on. I just got my press pass. It's lit for some reason. Panera is closed due to a power outage and this is where it starts. So I'm just gonna like chill out here. It's not that cold so I can chill. But I still have like another hour and a half so I'm probably gonna like periscope or do something. Maybe a power outage to the carry. It probably is. <laughs> There are literally helicopters in the sky right now. This is too legit. While we while we're stopping, you gotta get you gotta get in the in the film. My new friend. We're just waiting for the K dub. We don't know where she went. Here we go. Please don't stop stepping into other people's shoes. Um, I know many young women, including myself, um, are really proud to call you our role model because of your compassion and dedication to the arts and activism. Uh, why are you so drawn to both of them? Oh. Um, why am I drawn to arts and activism? I, um, Jane Fonda, who's a really dear friend of mine, once described her process as an actor in that she feels like her job is to be compassionate because her job is to step into other people's shoes and see the world from their perspective. Um, and that that has led her to thinking more about, to thinking about other people's perspectives and other people's challenges. I think that has something to do with it. I think, um, I just think it's very powerful what we do as storytellers. It's not as important as trash collection, you know? If the garbage collectors don't collect the trash, they all get sick and die. If we stop making TV and movies, the same thing does not happen. But I think that, um, I think we do carry a great responsibility as storytellers. Um, and that is connected to me in terms of my interest in humanity. Maybe. 
it's not very good answer. It's a little over. Yeah, it's, it's, hard. it's hard because they're both so close to me. They're, it's sort of like pulling out a part of me that I don't even really think about often. They're just, it's just kind of how I live my life, I guess. I care about people. <laughs> <laughs> cool.